and this is a tutorial on how to add a signal man to your GMRI installation. Uh, first things first is you double click the Dakota Pro icon, Dakota Pro opens, and you get the main Dakota Pro window. What you're going to want to do if you have a new one is just click New Loco. And then a pop-up will appear. Uh, on the left is a clearer version of what you're looking for. Uh, for RR circuits, you're going to look for RR circuits, decoders, and signal man. You're going to double click and depending on your computer, you might need to wait just a minute for it to bring up the um, programmer for that. The programmer automatically opens in the programming track, which is what you don't want. So you're actually just going to click save to roster after renaming it, and then you're going to come back out here, hit programming on the main, and then select program. And the settings you're going to want to set it to, you see the ID is signal man default. Uh, here you see some fields that are in yellow, that's just saved by the profile. You need to click read full sheet to confirm you can, can, you can talk to your signal man. Come over to the signal man page and there's all this scary red text that you can read. Um, to correct that, uh, all you have to do is just select uh, read full sheet. Once read, you'll see all the default values. Here's just an example of a programmed one, but all the red text has gone away, and those are the default values. Now, what I'm going to do is move this window over because I'm trying to figure out what the actual address would be. The default is 9999, and RR Circuits recommends 10,000 and above, and we see that I have 10,001. Um, I've tried playing with the uh, some of these settings, and I usually just leave it default. The instructions say, I think master mode should be no, but then that doesn't work. Once I have the address set, I will do write changes on sheet to save that. And the next tab I'll go over to is brightness. And with this, the first thing I do is I just do straight up uh, read full sheet um, to get those values. Those are what on the signal man. You don't need resistors for your LEDs on a signal man. They're built in, and you can obviously adjust the values. And then I would come over to masts A, and again, first thing I do, read full sheet. And all the CVs will be read from the signal man decoder. And then just to break down these rows a little bit, each row is an aspect. Um, the default setting is actually perfect for a three aspect signal, so your BLMA modern day signals or the... Uh, Separate LED for each uh, color, searchlight signals, those types, is what this actually is pretty defaulted for. But I'm going to go to Mass B, again do read full sheet. It will cycle through all the different CVs that are on the signal man. Notice the turnout addresses are different, yet the overall pattern between everything is essentially the same. Now since I'm recreating a signal man that's already configured, I actually need to figure out what addresses I want, so I'm going to go to File, Open Panel Pro Window, and then it opens Panel Pro. I'll open my panel in Panels, Open Panels. Select my panel. Once I hit Open Panel File, I'll wait for my already configured layout panel to open. And here it is. Kaboom, kaboom. First thing I do, usually, this is just habit, is I'll throw a couple switches to get JMRI and the NCE command station just talking to each other, confirming the USB interface bla flashes its little uh, blinky red lights, and then I'll minimize this window because I actually don't need it right now, uh, and then I'll go to Tools, Tables, Signals, Signal Heads in Panel Pro, and we will have the Signal Head table show up. And here's where you define all your signal heads. Um, you can put in those turnout addresses and the like. Um, you can see I have, a whole, I have a whole bunch here, and I'm actually looking for a specific one I'm trying to recreate. Here looks like the one that I want to recreate. So I'm going to hit Edit, and the Edit Signal Head window will pop up. Here's a little bit more detailed view. This is an LDTLS-DEC. Uh, signal head decoder type, which is recommended in the RR circuits documentation, and I'm going to put these two windows next to each other so I can transpose the values. Um, the way I do it is this is actually signal man 10,005, and for each turnout address, um, I'll add a 5 in front of it. So instead of 9, it'll be 509, 
Turn out 10, 5, 10. Um, turn out 11 goes to turn out 5, 11. And as you can also see, the when I edit the address, it'll actually turn to yellow. Loconet is the default um, type. And then I usually leave the throne enclosed as defaults and then the lamp priority slash, or excuse me, phase slash flash um, as default. Now I'm going to bring up a couple pictures here to kind of show you what they look left to right and how they relate. Using turnout 509 as an example, look at the green output number. It says LT509 closed. That corresponds with aspect number 3, turnout 509 closed, H1G. So that would be the green aspect. And the red output is LT509 thrown, which corresponds to aspect number 1, turnout 509 thrown. The steady and a medium are just what the LED is doing. doing. Steady obviously meaning the LED is just on. A medium is the flash rate. Um, so this would actually, if we notice underneath the steady or a medium, we have the number 01. That corresponds to the mast number. So in the tab masts A is usually all mast 1. You can actually adjust that. Uh, I'll show you an example of that later. Um, and then everything else right starting at lamp B and over actually is just set to none and then that's kind of it most of its default um, I'll probably end this video here and see you in the next section